I thank you for hungering after my son. To desire to be just like him is a great thing. He admires you. He thanks you. He loves you for your heart, for your honesty, for your desire to bless him and to please him. Those are great things to accomplish. All right. If you need to play that back again, play it back again. I can't. It's sickening. It's nauseating. Here is Kat Kerr prophesying over Robin Bullock, where she says that God says that Jesus admires Robin Bullock. He thanks Robin Bullock. But try, try to imagine what she said and the blasphemy that Jesus Christ admires Robin Bullock. It is off the scales stunning. Now, do you think Robin believes what he just heard? Watch him wipe away tears. Look at that. He believes it. Again, the delusion, the fantasy that they live in. What, again, what utter blasphemy for this lady, Kat Kerr, to stand on stage and say that the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings admires Robin Bullock. Keeping in mind that Robin Bullock is a confirmed and verified false prophet but that somehow Jesus admires him. Ain't a long time on this earth. Make no plans to die. <laughs> For this day, I sign to you. I make a sign to you, the mark of the host of heaven to command 10 a million of them. So here's Kat Kerr. Just, you know, here it's with her Gandalf staff prophesying over Robin Bullock that he is, you know, hey guys, by the way, here's a, uh, here's a new gift of God. You are now in charge of 10 million angels to basically command at will. They're yours, Robin. A little gift from me. Love God. Receive it, Robin. I impart my life into you, the <laughs> life of the living God, who knows everything, has been everywhere, I'll give you the friendship of my very son. So I guess um, <laughs> this is the point where uh, the wizard is imparting her power. She's giving the Gandalf uh, staff over to Robin Bullock, and he's humbly accepting it. He's not going to need this little one now. He's not a gray anymore. He's a white wizard. So he's got the staff. Of course, that means he's going to have to start wearing uh, white now. You know, isn't isn't this just all silly? It's absolute silliness um, if you can get past the blasphemy. Everybody thinks that this is real. But even as Kat Kerr's own admission, uh, if you watched the last video I did on her a couple of days ago, she's she tells you this is all a show. Prophet's got to put on a good show. Those are her words. And so this is all show. Now, I don't know if Robin thinks it's a show because he was wiping tears from his eyes. But I just keep expecting Gollum to come running through there. My precious. This is just so stupid. 
the fact that this is allowed to happen in churches, that this is where we're at right now. It is the fantasy desires of narcissists who command the blind masses. They sit out there and clap. Unreal. I give you the friendship of my very son. That when you need him, he will come. She listen to her yell. She's like screaming at him. Look at Robin's daughter here. She's like, oh, this is so precious. It's real. This is real. Because of your willingness and your hunger will be filled. And Rob's like, well, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm so happy to hear. And, but I fully expected the Lord that he did admire me because I do shred my guitar. It's something awesome. But I'm glad to hear that, the, that Jesus admires me. Father, I fill this tissue box full of your love. Oh my goodness, it's it's just too much, isn't it? So, you know, just wanting to document this uh, because this is a freak show. This has, by the way, you don't hear anything about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ who suffered and died for our sins. It's all about them. It's all about the prophets. And uh, as a grown man, sitting there holding two sticks on his knees in front of millions of people as this goes out on the internet while this woman is anointing a tissue box. Stay away from these false prophets. They are wicked. They are exactly who Jesus warned you about. 